Hi, welcome back. Today we're doing probability trees without replacement. So yesterday we looked at a situation of taking marbles out of a bag, or yesterday or whenever you last watched the video. Today what happens when you don't? Now this is a really important distinction and they won't tell you which case you've got. So from whatever they write in the exam paper, you have to work out whether you're putting something back in or whether the probability is decreasing because you're keeping something out. So situations would be things like um, if you're choosing three people from the room to be representatives of your class and you want to figure out boys and girls. So if you take the first person and it's a, it's a boy, the person, first person you take, you don't put them back in. So now there's a reduced number of boys. And when we do this on a probability tree, we just have to remember to reduce the denominator. So let's have a look at that case from yesterday. If we've got marbles, all right, we've got blue, green, and yellow. And we said we had two twelfths, three twelfths, and seven twelfths. Okay? Then we were wanting to know what's the probability of getting a double. So our next branches were blue or not blue. And not yellow. And the probabilities have to reduce because here we had two blue. We've now kept this blue one out. So now there's only one blue left to be able to choose. One blue. Out of 11 left in the bag. So not just one out, one blue, but only 11 marbles left. The other 10 are not blue. If we take the green one, we've got two greens left and the other nine are not green. And in the case of the yellow, got six yellow ones left and all oh, out of 11 and five that are not yellow. All right, so you can see that it's different because you've gone and then you still have to fill out the last part and put in all of your outcomes. So outcomes go here. Blue, blue, and you can do that column in your notes, all right. And the probabilities here are the same, so you're multiplying 2 twelfths times 1 eleventh equals 2 over 132. All right, etc., etc. So blue, not blue, and then 2 twelfths times 10 eleventh equals 20 over 132. And as you go down, again, this will add up to 132. But the probabilities have changed because you don't have the same number of things to choose from. All right, good going, guys. Well done. Keep it up. I'm enjoying seeing you logging in, doing your homework. Thanks, guys.